There we go. What's up with that? Sorry. Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the replay. Ah, so many things to do. Uh, and Amy's here just in time. Hi, Amy. How are you? Uh, all right. Hang on, Amy. I'm going to say hi to replay people. Hello, replay people. How are you doing today? Uh, my name is Bobby. I am the host of this group, The Spiritual Artist, and this is Daily Fuel. Uh, where I go live every single day, except Sunday, and talk about cool stuff with you guys, uh, like Amy and Jennifer and Mikey. So, uh, yeah, so if you're watching in the replay, then do me a favor and let me know you're in the replay. Write hashtag replay, hashtag replay person, hashtag I love the replay, but not as much as the lives. Whatever you like, anything like that. Right? Uh, make one up. And if you're watching live, then you guys can start commenting as you normally do. And here's how it works. If you're new in the live, I'm going to ignore you and read my spiel. And then I'm going to come back to the comments and read them straight through. There's a hi without a face. Who is that? That is Crimson Rose. Hey, how you doing? Now, is your name Rose? And 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 uh, like, what should I call you? Just Rose or Crimson? I'm not really 100% sure. But if you could let me know... I would like to call you by the right name. So, uh, how you doing? Welcome to Daily Fuel. And so, let's see. Uh, Amy's just in time. Jennifer, hi, Bobby. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? Uh, perfect timing. Yes, it is. Mikey, it's that time. Yes, it is, buddy. And Crimson Rose says hi. And Jennifer says the lives are better. The lives are better. Well, I mean, I have to be here for the live. Could you imagine if the, if I did the live without me? It would just be like this blue room and that's it. That'd be boring. Uh, Amy, hashtag replay went forward in time. Crimson. Oh, okay, cool. See, I'm glad I asked because I would have guessed Rose. I will call you Crimson. Thank you very much. Now, Crimson, by the way, uh, I'm not sure if you clicked it, but there is a, a Ecamm link in the description to the live. If you could click that and uh, allow the permissions, you don't have to do it this time, but if you do it next time, um, this way I can see your face because uh, it doesn't say who it is and I have to look on my phone to see who anonymous people are. And Kelly is here, hooray. And who else? Oh, this is going long. And Barbara's here, hi Barbara. I started thinking I was in the replay, but ha ha ha. No, you're not, you're live. Okay, I'm stopping, let's start. Isn't it ironic that uh, I went over, usually I take two minutes to do the replay stuff, and this time I took three. I took way too much time. And the one on time, right? So, uh, yeah, so this is time. We're talking about time today. And uh, you've heard me talk about Dr. Joe Dispenza many, many times. And I'm just going to mention him a bit today and uh, and talk about how he fits into time. I said yesterday that uh, Dr. Joe explains it that we get this desire, we get this vision, and now suddenly our 3D monkey brains are like, oh, but to do that, I must do all of these steps, and each one of those is going to take this much time and this much effort and I have to go from here to there and we create space here to there and we create time it's going to take me all this time to get there you know these are concepts that we create because the universe doesn't work that way the universe is now it's instant it but we don't live an instant manifestation life here in 3d land uh be kind of cool but I guess it would be besides the point so um so here's a couple things about time is uh, when when I am really on the ball in the flow in the zone I don't really notice time do you notice that right when you're when you're getting in the flow of your work you don't notice time hours can go by and it feels like minutes and you're like oh my god I can't believe like I was just doing this for six hours and uh, but then sometimes I do start noticing time and not so much like well, yeah, sometimes while I'm in the middle of doing something like, oh, my God, I only have an hour left. But for me, it's more like I notice time in general, like, oh, God, I, I have to have this thing done within two weeks or within a month. I have this problem or or, you know, it, it's just like time feels like it's running out. The clock is ticking. I have looming deadlines or I've taken too much time to get to this thing and this person's waiting for it or something like that. Right now spirit the universe whatever you like to say knows that time is infinite and knows that there's plenty of more time for you um but the, but the problem is is that we don't know how 
that's possible. We just know that this thing is due or this thing has to be finished or I have to have this done by this day or something. And so I find that time is a good indicator for me. When I am noticing pressures of time, especially uh, longer periods of time, not so much I have to get something done in 15 minutes or an hour, but more like I have to get something done in a week or I'm gonna have a problem in a month or two months. And when I'm noticing that kind of time pressure, that tells me that uh, that's an indicator for me personally that uh, that I'm veering off course a little bit. I haven't gone off into the woods, but I'm veering off course. I'm, I'm, I should be going this way, but I'm facing this way, right? And it's just like course correct a little bit. And uh, the reason today's thing is time is because this morning I was having one of those days where I was feeling the time pressure. And, uh, and my wife was like, what's the matter? And I answered her. I don't know why she asked me what's the matter because I gave her the answer and she's like stop you know you look what you're doing you're you, you know that this isn't the truth you know what the truth is you have to go downstairs and uh and and do your work so I'm gonna get to what that work is we've talked about that the energy work right so I have two things to talk about solutions for this time problem that that, that we have now, the first is having faith in the meantime. And this is a big one for me. Uh, and I think I did a live on this uh, a couple months ago. Faith in the meantime. So once again, spirit knows how there's more time, but I don't know how there's more time. How can there possibly be more time? It's due this day, you know? Um, so my job is not to figure out how to stretch time or do anything to time itself. My job is to focus on the what, not the how, and get into that quantum and that get, get into that quantum energy zone get into that field get into that flow and that's again where uh the energy work comes in and if you're not doing the energy work every day then it could be like uh it could be like i gotta get back to it you know and i think that that's when time really starts to uh to to to, to become an indicator for me especially if i have neglected to do my energy work for a day or two or three if i've neglected it for longer than that then forget it i am a mess but um if i neglect to do it for a day i skip a day i skip another day then all of a sudden i'm beginning to feel very small and i'm beginning to feel powerless not totally powerless but feeling less powerful how about that and uh and it's time to get back into that energy work so that's why i think that isn't it funny how the answer is the same every day it's like we got to do our energy work but the, the second one, I think, again, is time jumping. And I wanted to say uh, something new about time jumping today. And I'm going to start with a Dr. Joe quote, because uh, this is something my wife sent to me. Because my wife is very smart. Uh, here's Check this quote out. This is Dr. Joe Dispenza. The you that exists in the probable future is already connected to the you in this now in a dimension beyond time and space. You guys can see that, right? The you that exists in the probable future is already connected to the you in this now in a dimension beyond time and space. Okay, so this is, once again, if you're new to the concept of time jumping, I've mentioned it a few times on Daily Fuel, there's me right now. And there's the me in this probable future. There's this future me that's more awesome, right? That's got all the stuff, that's figured out all the things, that's living the, the dream. And, and I ask that version of me, that future version of me, not how do I get there, not what action step do I have to take tomorrow to get where you are, but more like what's the rhythm of where you are? What, what does it feel like where you are? And then I just feel what it's like to be there. And then I can start feeling that way now. And that pulls me to there. So that's how that works. And this quote is just reminding me that that you actually exists. That version of me actually exists in a dimension beyond time and space. But when I am stuck feeling like, oh my God, time, I am no longer connected to that version of me. I am now stuck as just this version of me who doesn't have any of that stuff, who doesn't know the rhythm of being amazing and is just stuck here going like, fuck, what am I gonna do? That's not a fun way to live. Uh, and I think that a lot of people live their entire lives like that, feeling stuck in this, in this moment uh, this now version of them that has no understanding that they're connected to this future version of themselves that has it all figured out. And all we have to do is ask them, 
What does it feel like to have it all figured out? And then imagine what it feels like, and that's your answer, then just work on feeling like that, and you start going that way, and a funny thing happens. You feel better. So, now the biggest excuse people have of, oh, I don't, I, I can't do that, I, 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 I don't have enough time to do the energy work. Well, that's the problem, is when you feel like you don't have enough time to do the energy work, so you skip it so you can do your action work, then you start to feel the pressure of time because time is trying to tell you, you got plenty of time. All right, oh, that makes sense. Let's go to the comments. I'm gonna keep that quote up there in case uh, anyone comes in late and wants to see it. And let's go to the comments here. And where were we? Wow, there are a lot of people here today, wow. Cool, uh, Kelly is here, hooray. Hooray! Hi, Kelly. Uh, Barbara, I started thinking. Oh, I've read these before. Yeah, you're 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 not. You're live, Barbara. Jennifer says all we have is the now moment. Time is good for appointments and such things, though. Yeah, it is. Obviously, what time is Daily Fuel? It's on at six o'clock. It's not on whenever the heck you feel like going to Facebook. It's on when it's on. Time in our three D lives matters. But feeling and so do. Uh, so does, you know, my bill is due on this day and this thing has to be done for this client by that day. And those things also matter. What we shouldn't be doing is living under the pressure of that and feeling like I can't possibly get it done in that amount of time. Because <sighs> we can. Uh, we just have to ask for help. Hi, says Robin with lots of flowers. Uh, Jennifer says, when we are in 5D, there is no time. Well, that's that's the other half of this, exactly. Robin, when I'm in the zone, I forget time. That's why I am always late. <laughs> that's great. Oh, no, she says. Um, that... Jennifer says, that is why the flow is the best. Yeah, the flow is the best. I remember mentioning the flow. And now uh, there's, well, that's Marsha. Hello, Bobby. Uh, so let me find Marsha on here. And of course, sorry, I can't see my phone with my glasses on. So where are we? Hello, Marsha. And then uh, Crimson says, when working, I totally zone out and forget time. Yeah, exactly, right? And I really, really enjoy that. When I'm very busy or I'm... Uh, my brain is focused on a project, same, right? It's like I just, I, I zone out, I can, I can have the music going, and next thing you know, it's like hours have passed. And I love that, because I feel like that's when the greatest um, creative work comes out of me. So um, I think for me, a challenge is to learn how to structure my day so that I can uh, uh, allow for larger blocks of time like that. Also, by the way, I feel like when I do these daily fuels that I, I get into a sort of zone and I'm not really um, thinking about how much time these things take, they end up taking around the same amount of time, depending on how many people there are and how many comments there are. But usually my spiel takes around the same amount of time and then the comments take around the same amount of time. But, uh, you know, I don't have like, a, oh, I got to be done by this time. I love just getting in the flow state here and, and going with it. Kelly says, time awareness is anxiety for me. Yeah. Uh, but being oblivious isn't good either. No, this isn't about good. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, this really is not about being oblivious and living obliviously because uh, as who said it? Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot who said it. Jennifer or somebody. Uh, there are 3D time things that are important and we don't want to forget them, you know, and we, we don't want to miss things and stuff because we are spiritual beings having a human experience and part of the human experience is linear time so we we agreed to play this game and we agreed to live by these rules but we are not stuck as victims of time i think that's that's the point of this so yeah not being oblivious very good i very often do stuff at the last minute minute is time says robin yeah i i'm a little like that too uh I don't know, I don't really like having deadlines, but when I do have a deadline, I'm usually pushing right up against it. Jennifer, I experience time pressure all too often. Yeah, I think a lot of us do. Robin, faith in the meantime, hmm. Yeah, faith in the meantime uh, is, is uh, a concept that I worked out with my friend Landon because the meantime was always a thing that was difficult for me. I have this vision and it's all the way out there. It's gonna take me this amount of time to get there, but I'm always worried that I believe I can get there. Getting there and living this thing and having it 
completely believable. The problem for me is that my brain was wired to to worry that, oh, I'm going to be moving towards there, except I'm never going to make it there. Either it's always going to progress away from me or uh, imagining it kind of like as a life preserver or a lifeboat or something. I'm going to swim to it. I'm going to drown before I get to it, you know, and that's that's how I would feel uh, that that I was always stuck in this uh, this uh, ethereal meantime, the, 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 the never actually getting to the place I believe I can get to because I'm always on my way, you know, and that was the meantime. Um, so yeah, having faith that the meantime will carry you and bring you there and that and that will actually end is uh, is important. Uh, Kirsten is here. Hi, Kirsten. How you doing? I get stuck in time. I get paralyzed in the feeling of obligation and guilt. I waste hours trying to move. Yeah, that's a really, really tough one because uh, this can create a vicious cycle, right? That now you're feeling like, oh, I need to do this thing. I've let so much time pass. Now I feel weird about it. I feel guilty about it. Uh, and 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 that paralyzes you to the point where you can't even start to do the thing because now you're worried there's not enough time left. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do as good of a job on it. Or, or that might even apply to that kind of thing. Has this ever happened to you where it's like, I haven't called that person in so long that now I feel weird calling them. So maybe I'll just never talk to that person for the rest of my life and that will solve the problem. You know, I mean, have you ever noticed that? Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, Kelly, of course, have faith in the meantime. Here you are with the spiritual solution. Thank you. Yes, Amy says, yep, we see it. Oh, the, the text. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. Robin says, I get pissed off when I feel I don't have enough time. I don't understand why it bothers me so much. I, I think it's normal. I think that... Uh, well, one reason I feel uh, pissed off when I uh, pissed off, the reason I would get pissed off that I don't have enough time is because I feel that somebody else impinged on my time and now I don't have enough time left. You know, it's like I, I try to justify it. And uh, uh, that happens a lot to me with projects, especially when there are other people involved in the project. For example, uh, I might have um, uh, something to do for a client, but there's another vendor that has a thing to do for the client and my thing hinges on their thing or, you know, they go together but now my thing can't get done because they didn't finish their thing and now they finished their thing and this is a very specific by the way example uh, that has happened recently now they finally finished their thing and it's time for me to do my thing and the client's like hurry up and do your thing and it's like I couldn't even start my thing until that was finished and now I have like a day to finish it <sighs> not a fun uh, thing but that would be why I would get pissed off because it's like you should have done that two weeks ago and I would have had more time. Doesn't mean I wouldn't have waited to the last day anyway, but at least it would have been my fault, not that guy's fault. Um, so that's why I would get pissed off. Amy, I am now setting things up so it's there for future me. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so time jumping is asking that future version of me, what does it feel like to be there? And now sitting in that feeling place, Another way to think of it is what you just said. By getting into that feeling place and pointing yourself in that direction, you're setting things up for the success of that same future version of you that just told you the answer. And you're creating a feedback loop of energy. Wow. Yeah, Amy, I like that. Cool. All right. Very good. Robin, the me that is to be me in the future actually exists in a dimension further in time and space. Yep, that's it. And Richard's here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Future me. Never thought of it that way. There you go. There's a new way to think of it. And I feel like that at my job. Is that crimson? Uh, uh, I stopped scrolling here. There's that. There's that. Where's Richard? There it is. Yes, that's Crimson. Uh, I feel like that at my job. Okay, so here's the thing that happens sometimes, Crimson. I feel like that at my job. You wrote that when I was saying something, and now so much time has passed, haha, that uh, I don't know how you feel at your job. But um, I'm sure it was something that I said that was probably uh, not good. So I feel bad that you feel bad at your job. Um, Amy, <laughs> it happens a lot. People say things in comments, and by the time I get around to reading the comment, I have no idea what they're talking about. 
Uh, talking to past you and future you is like traveling back and forth in time. Yes. And by the way, um, I believe, here's something I have not gotten into in time jumping. I've been talking about talking to the future version of you to go in that direction. It is also possible to imagine speaking to a past version of you and pointing the past version of you in the proper direction to boost you in the proper direction. Um, that's possible. I, time feels linear in three dimensions, but remember time in the quantum is all the present moment. There is only now. So that means there is no past that cannot be changed. We remember it a certain way and that really can be changed but you you know what i mean it's like a, we think of like time travel in in science fiction like you go to the past it's set in stone it's not we can look back to the past versions of ourselves and uh and sort of feed them the information to point them in the right direction and you know how i know that because who the hell is doing it to us we are all right man we are like just crushing things today are we not uh stephanie is here hey how you doing stephanie yes i love this conversation good i'm glad that you do and barbara is here did i say how to you barbara hi uh with regard to the future me and feeling what the future me feels like and drawing the now me in all right so in regard to this time jumping thing this is how i manifest so many things in my life great I have to consciously connect to that future me that has it. Yes, that's it. The future you has it. The future you wants to reach back and tell you, yo, over here, look this way, right? Because if you don't do it, the future you doesn't get it. You are the future you to that guy. Hey, you, come this way. You can just line yourself up. Conga line of versions of you. Not, no, not, not a conga line. That'd be lame. Uh, Kelly says, Hi, I, lo I love how you have said all this before. None of it's new, but every single piece of it punched me in the face with love. Very good. I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah, the thing about this is that there really isn't... Uh, it's not like, a, oh, hey, guys, here's a new piece of information that you've never heard before. We all talk about the same thing. My friend Landon likes to say this. We're all walking each other home, he says. Everybody's talk, saying the same thing, but from their own perspective. And, uh, and, and that's why I love doing these Daily Fuels, because I have my perspective, but then I say things, and you guys say it back to me, and I go, whoa, I didn't even think of it that way. And basically, you said the same thing, but you just shifted my perspective a little tiny bit. At, or a lot bit and uh it's it and i'm doing that back at you it's it's a wonderful thing and you're doing it to each other so it's it's great robin i agree uh very good no i'm chasing you i agree that often the greatest work comes out when work is done in the zone yeah absolutely right being in the zone especially for an artist it's just like you it's the best. It's really the best. Kelly, conversation with myself. Those like Kelly, do you feel like a basket case? Those like Kelly, do you feel like a basket case? Uh, why, yes, Kelly, I do. <laughs> have you done any energy work? Well, no, I actually have not. Um, good. Could you maybe do that? Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, and 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 lovingly. Right. The future versions of us always look back at us with nothing but love and admiration because they know what it's like to be where we are and and remember it's okay you, you you're doing great um but but remember to do the work um kirsten says sometimes it feels like time stops when i'm in the zone yep i'm surprised at how much i get done and how little time goes by when i let go of time hmm a glitch <laughs> maybe right that's an interesting way to think about that. And now here's another. Uh, that looks like, oh, I love how you say, wait, did I skip? Who did I, sorry, hang on a second, guys. I love how you said all this before. I do a lot of prep work and then working under pressure is when I do my best. Who, who was that? Sorry. Oh, these aren't in order. Wow. Kirsten, you're not here. That's really weird. All right, Marcia says, I'm sorry, guys. This this and this did not line up. Uh, Marcia said, I do, and I should have known it was Marcia because you got the little things. Thank you for adding those, Marcia. 
I do a lot of prep work and then working under pressure is when I do my best. But there is a time crunch to get it completed because there might not be tomorrow. There might not be a tomorrow to complete the project. Okay, uh, what do you, when you say there might not be a tomorrow, uh, like you could be you could get hit by a bus. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that. I do a lot of prep work, and then the working under pressure is when I do my best. Okay, yeah, uh, yes, I do a lot of prep work too. And the way that I do my prep work is I I like to. Um, create a process for my projects so that as I'm doing the projects, uh, I just follow the process. I'm doing that for my graphic novel. I do that for all client projects. Um, I don't really, if I take on a client project, I usually don't take on a project that's like, I've never done that before. I take on projects that I've done exactly that before because I have a process for it and I have everything all set up exactly the way that I do it. So that something that might take somebody weeks to do from scratch will take me a day or a couple hours because all of that scratch work I've done. I've done and I have it all set up. And that's my process. That's why I can wait till the deadline is looming because I know 98% of this project I already have done. Uh, it's just uh, it's just the, 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 the things that are specific to this client that I have to do. So, so there's that, yeah. Um, Stephanie, I forget that my future self is available to me sometimes. Uh, usually when I'm stressed out in that not enough headspace. Yep, thanks for this reminder. That's, yeah, that's where I started that. Uh, and Stephanie, I don't know if you saw the beginning, but what I said was that when I notice time as a factor, when I'm feeling pressure from time, that's an indicator to me that I've veered off course from that future version of myself. And I have to ask myself what Kelly said. Have you been doing the work? No? Well, would you go do that, please? Thank you. Um, Barbara said, I forget that too. And then I read or hear someone say, hey, keep feeling what it's like to have it. You'll have it. Yep, exactly. Very good. Mikey, if we want to find that timeless, beautiful, relaxed state of self that all of us know we're meant to live from, then we have to live as though we have all the time in the world. That's cool, and I think that we do have all the time in the world. And you know what, even if there is a deadline, the deadline is not the end of the world, right? Because uh, the, 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 you're gonna wake up the next day and the sun's gonna shine you know, somewhere and it's going to be uh, another day and another, and you're going to step through it, and you're gonna step through it, and you're gonna step through it. And before you know it, I mean, there have been times where I just thought like such time pressure or such any kind of pressure that it felt like the end of the world. And I, I can't even think of any off the top of my head right now, you know, that that none of them have killed me. None of them have crushed me. None of them have made me anything but stronger. So there's that. Uh, Jennifer, that is the key. <laughs> Probably something, uh, probably something smart that I said, and that's the key. So I'll take that, and uh, uh, here's another, if we want to find Jennifer, that's the key. Uh, Marsha, oh, you put the things again. Why don't I see the things? Thank you. Meditation is beginning to help me slow my pace and be more productive without feeling pressured. Being more spiritual is helping to calm my mind. That's great. So, yeah, some you know. By the way, sometimes doing the energy work doesn't have to be this whole talking to your future self thing. Sometimes it could just be listening to relaxing music and chilling your brain out. Sometimes it could just be turning everything off because even just turning everything off is enough to release that time pressure or whatever pressure you're feeling. It doesn't always have to be this epic, grand, mystical journey to the quantum future where you're shaking your own hand in the future and telling the past you this or that. Sometimes it could just be taking a nap. <sighs> Robin, I think I get pissed off comment. I think the I get pissed off comment is explained because there seem to be many things in the way before I can finally get to doing what I either need to or want to. Yeah, oh, things in the way, right? It's like, well, I can't do this because of that. Or um, for me, here's how I notice time. It's five o'clock already? I didn't even get to do the thing I wanted to do today. That's what noticing time feels like, and that really pisses me off. Uh, and then when I notice that I'm pissed off, I realize you gotta reel it in, because this is, 
You don't want to you don't want to have another day like this tomorrow and the next day. You could literally just perpetuate this if you if you if you internalize that victimhood. Be like, there's nothing I can do. This person said this and that one did that and the cat puked on the thing and I had to go and clean it and stuff and uh, that took all my time, you know? Are you right? Yeah, you're right. Uh, do you want it to happen tomorrow? No. So then what do you do? Shut up about it. Stop stop bitching about it. Go do your energy work. I don't have time to do my energy work. Well, then I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's the answer. Kelly says, I think for me, I need to allow myself to indulge and sit in that good feeling space. Yep, absolutely. Stop thinking that I don't have the time to allow myself to do that to begin with. That's it. I call my meditation and my energy work my gift to myself. I am allowing myself to do it. That was a practice. When I started t t saying that to myself, that this is my gift to me, then uh, it was sort of an allowance to take the time away from work. Must work. Must be the dad and the, the provider, you know? But instead, what am I doing? I'm sitting on the couch meditating. It's like, eh, that doesn't... At first, it felt weird. Like, I should be over there calling and writing at the same time, you know? No, it doesn't work. It's a gift to myself so that I can find the strength and find the direction and then bring that strength back to my work, get in the zone and get way more done and accomplished so that I actually can provide uh, for my family and be the dad. Um, uh, to, to begin with, that Kelly continues, that's what you're saying, I think. Yes, the energy work part, allow myself the time to sit in the good feeling place in order to call more of it to me. Yeah, exactly what you just said uh, is what I just said. Amy, you can chat with past you for wisdom, advice, and future you for lists of things to set up. Yeah. Yeah, but again, I don't, uh, well, okay, I'm not sure what you mean by list of things to set up. I'm careful not to ask future me, you know, what are the lottery numbers? Or, or uh, you know, like, should I call that client tomorrow or not call that client? It's not specific action tasks. It's, what does it feel like where you are? Practice that feeling. That's it. The, the future you and me, the future me and me, not you. I don't talk to you. The future of me and me, uh, we don't, I, I can have a conversation, but it's, it's, it's more like what the conversation makes me feel. So it's almost like it's a, it's a beacon of light and you can look at the light and go toward it or you can not, you know, but it's, but the light isn't in Morse code telling me, call that guy, make that thing. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. This is Morse code, by the way. Um, I wish I had a process, LOL. Who is that? Uh, Hector. Hey, buddy. What's going on, man? I wait, You have a process? What are you talking about? You're, you, you don't? I don't know if you're kidding or you're not. Um, and then who's that? I wish I had a process. Uh, uh, that's Crimson. Okay. And Richard says... Oh, and Jason's here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Richard says time deadline. Shit happens. Yeah, exactly, man. Uh, Crimson says, it's my mom said, fake it till you make it because someday I'll get where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about fake it till you make it one second. I like fake it till you make it because fake it till you make it to me doesn't mean lie to people and be, uh, you know, a, a, a pretend something that you're not. It doesn't mean be inauthentic. Fake it till you make it means what's the rhythm of where you are? What does it feel like where you are? I'm going to pretend I'm there and feel it and practice feeling it and practice feeling it and practice feeling it. That's the fake it part. Fake is a is a weird word. Pretend until you make it. Except that doesn't rhyme, so it's fake it till you make it. But yes, absolutely. Robin, when time bothers me so much that I feel it's the end of the world, I usually freeze up. It's not good. No, it's not good. And it's not the end of the world. But I know the feeling. Richard, my brain hasn't been off for 52 years. <laughs> Very good, man. Uh, I know I, I've read, I don't exactly know um, the specifics of what you mean when you say uh, your brain and the way that it works and the way that you create your art, but I understand that you have a, uh, a, a process or something where it's just like it just comes out a certain way. Uh, but I really love your work and I love what you've been sharing in the group, Richard. So thank you for that. Amy says, in those time pressured moments with deadlines looming, just stop, breathe. 
take the time to prioritize calmly and the time slows for me enough to manage the list of things. It really does. Breathing is everything. Breathing is our connection to that future version. We can't be like, what's the rhythm of where you are? It doesn't work. We need to breathe and relax. Uh, and that's why I like meditating for my energy work, but it also works for me if I go for a walk, but I do the breathing on my walk. Robin, and about the pissed off thing means it's time to write out my therapy sheets to write it all out on paper. And when it's there, I can leave it on the page and let it go. Good. Then I'm emotionally free to go on. That's great. If that is a process that works for you, then do it. Uh, if that is a process that does not work for you, then don't do it. That you know, the processes, the actions, the tasks, the tactics are 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 irrelevant. Uh, tactics that work for Robin will not work for Kelly. Might work for Amy. Won't work for Jennifer. Probably don't work for Bobby, right? But the, the strategy is the same. Figure out a way to get to that feeling place, feel the rhythm of your future self where you want to be, and then fake it till you make it. Practice feeling it. If fake it till you make it, the phrase sits weird with you, then don't say it. It doesn't matter what phrase we say. It doesn't matter what process we do. If it's writing or walking or yoga or meditating, you could do headstands. I don't care. Just find a thing that gets you there. Damn it. <laughs> Barbara says, wow, there's so many comments today. Barbara says, sometimes my other work has deadlines, but really, I hate to say it, I don't care anymore. I won't let it make or break me. Good. I will work to get it done, but I refuse to take it to a harmful level. That's excellent because there's nothing at a harmful level that works for you or even for your client what good if you are, are are if you are creating a harmful experience for your for yourself so that you can get things done at an artificial time pressure time how's that good for you how's that good for the client right are we talking about client work uh how is it good for whoever it is the deadline was imposed by it's not uh, your boss um what's the worst that's going to happen i'll get fired it wouldn't be the end of the world i'll manage i always do i love this tonight sorry lol don't be sorry this is what it's about uh and then there's an anonymous one that is hector hector says today i took what i call a victory lap cool buddy i finished two projects and before starting the next i took a break and enjoy the sun in the wind a victory lap great uh you know what that is great because um we need time between things to celebrate to uh to to pat ourselves on the back and to gear up for the next thing that we have to do. We are not machines. We don't turn ourselves on and then just chug, 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 chug at a steady pace and just process things and get things done. We don't work that way. We need to uh, gear up for things. We need to put our energy into it. We need to get in the flow and then just zoom it out. And then we need to just like chill out, take a break, relax. After Daily Fuel, especially one like this, wow. Uh, I am. I'm done. I you won't hear my voice talking in this house for another hour, uh, maybe longer. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I don't talk this much the whole day <laughs> as much as I do on these lives. And that was the last comment. So we are done, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This this was great. When there are people here and the comments are going and 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 things are going on, I get so into it. It is so exciting for me. I have so much going on that I'm excited to share with you and I cannot tell you enough how this helps me create stuff to hopefully help you in return. And uh, I, I, I'm just so appreciative. Thank you. Uh, and Danielle says, I took a long breather to finish my work today. Good. Good for you, Danielle. Oh, Danielle finished that project. Uh, Danielle, when was that that you posted a, a half finished painting months ago? And uh, it was really cool. And 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 then uh, it came up again a few weeks ago. And, and we were like, when are you doing this? And uh, and she's like, I don't know. I have to get to it. And then today she finished it. So good for you, Danielle. Congratulations. Take a victory lap.
You and Hector, run around the block. Um, all right, I'm going to go, guys. So, Danielle, uh, you can have the booby prize. Uh, not Richard just snuck in and said thank you. So, Richard, you now get the booby prize. The booby prize goes to the last commenter before I hit the end button. And invariably, somebody always sneaks in and steals it from the person that I just announced won it. Because, as you can see, I announce it, and then I don't shut up. I just keep on going. And I'm sure one of you is typing right now. And when that pops up, you'll get the booby prize. Unless I hit the button and say goodbye. So I'm done. Thank you. Bye.